Welcome to your TV room. Today is Friday, September 23rd. Let's record oil is open. open as usual at 9 a.m. Uh, we have a flush down of crude oil, almost almost uh, 3% downside. So we have a, a lot of gap to, uh, to fill the market. So let's see if we're going to fill the gap. We see consolidation now happening now, crude oil. We have almost two minutes. Let's see if the market can continue up, continue downside, or fill the gap upside. Let's see. Right. We have almost one minute, and then I'm, I'm going to trade RTY at 9.30 as usual. And uh, I'm PUQ1 in crude oil. So if I get the first trade winning, I'm not taking any more trades crude oil, just one. And RTY, I'm PUQ1 plus 10 points, at least. So if an RTY the first trade, Less than 10 points, I'll keep trading until I hit the 10 points profit or hit my max loss. Right. And usually we take this 10 points for the two, first two trades. Sometimes we take 945 trades. We call it the, uh, the, we have three active windows you can trade 9 a.m., 945, and 10. And today there is some news in 945. So let's see if that we're going to, uh, hopefully, we're not going to need any 945. We're going to have a first, first profit trade and we go home like happened yesterday and most of the time. We have 45 seconds to go. Forty-five seconds. Thirty seconds. And we have yeah, almost thirty seconds. Market now is neutral. Everything is choppy. Let's see if we're gonna break this and go. We have 15 seconds to go. And market is open. Let's see. Let's see. We'll go short now. We are shorting now. We are shorting now crude oil. We are shorting crude oil now. 90 cubic even hit plus one. First target hit was a nice quick movement. Was a nice quick move. What the hell? And keep trailing your stop at 40 ticks. So the second contract now. Gonna be at. So I'm I'm taking one at 24 ticks and second one at 40 ticks. That's it. That's all you need. Happy Friday. That's all we need. That's all we fucking need. That's it. That's it. We nothing else. Hopefully you have this. We're gonna have the same in R2I, uh, hopefully. And so the first one are going to be at 81. Actually, I'm going to make it, yeah, keep it at 81.19. The second one at 80.35. Market pivot on me, nice. Market moving nice now. We got almost now seven points from the entry. Almost seven points from the entry. Nice. And the second one going to be 81.2. So 80.19. And 80.35. It's going to be a lost trade crude oil. We're going to take the oil again. That's it. Market going to push hard. Let's see. We're going to push down. We're right at the 80, which is the psychology number 80, 80. This is going to be a major, major support, uh, support resistance, but you know, nobody knows. You know? If the market wanna break it, will break. Who gives a shit? But you know, I'm I'm just waiting to break or bounce. I'm happy either way. I'm gonna tie the second quarter. I stop last little bit at 80. You know, I just keep it though. Keep it my rules. Keep it my rules. 85.25. I'm not gonna do anything. In in crude oil, I don't do I don't do the 10 uh, adjustment. I just do a 40 ticks stop. That's it. I'm thinking uh, if a market could be downside, I might add one more quote. It's because I see hesitation here. If the market give me another signal, I might go downside. I might go, I might add one more contract.
Let me see. I see a citation here. And I see the, the market now is at, at 0 0.80, 0 0.35. So I'm gonna actually, actually I'm gonna add my stop loss a little bit higher than this. Maybe at 80.36, a little bit. I see a chance to, to add one more contract, let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna add anything now, just wait. He's still dancing at the 80. Yeah, just two ticks, just to get this above this uh, line here, 80.35. Because I like to stay in a trade if I, if I have a wedding trade. The thing I like about, about crude oil, when it moves, it moves quick. That's, that's the... the one of the most thing I like about it, especially at open. Market has station at the 80. Anyone stay in the trade? You guys all out. Hopefully you can have one like this in the moment, an RTY, be a nice Friday. Still waiting. I might start moving men again. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go, motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. I might add one more contract. Let's set the stop limit here. I'm gonna add one more contract here at 80, 78.82, 78.83. One more contract, I see the market moving, so why not? If, if the market push me, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna keep my stop average to be at 80.10. I'm gonna move, I'll take some profit. So your first contract 80.10, second contract 80.26, and I'm adding one more contract at 79.83. I like to add to winners. Can I move my stop for the second contract a little bit higher? Maybe at 80.22, 28. And we are still in the trade. We are still in the trade. Mark still moving. Mark still moving nicely, beautifully. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, baby, let's go. I'm gonna add this the last contact I add now will be at 87.5 uh, 87, oh nice man, nice life, beautiful. So, so these two contacts now at uh, so one, one contact stopped out, it, the other ones at 80.04 above this 80. So I'm hide that second contract stop loss behind this. See, 
I got some profit, little bit profit from the second contract, maybe like one point or something for the third contract ad. Still short. I'm trading six micro micros. I'm up almost three hundred bucks. Now. If you're if you're trading e minis, you should be up almost three grand. This day, almost. Still a trade. I'm gonna add one contract a little bit higher, a little bit, maybe at 80.07, just in case if I can get can stay in a trade for a little longer. Let's see. Because I don't see I, I, I'm not seeing any bullish uh, bullishness here. I don't see any uh, hidden rever any diversions, hidden diversions, anything stop the market, you know what I mean? Anything. There is nothing, there is no flow. So that's why I want to stay in a trade. Why not? Market maybe. We'll go more uh, 10 points, who knows? And I see the crude oil is uh, oversold, but it's okay. When a market is trending down big time, it's okay to be oversold. So don't just get scared because it's oversold, so close the position, no, it's okay. The market selling off, it's fine, it will be oversold. It's fine. My rules is my keep my stop at 40 ticks. I don't care about salt over shit. I don't care. All right. So I see here this one here is hesitation. So I'm gonna add one one stop loss here above, above this hesitation here, which is gonna be around 78.85. 79.8, uh, sorry, 79.98 around this station. And the third one, I'm going to keep it at 80.09. So I'm going to take one profit from the table in the case the market going to reverse, take some profit from this one. Other one, I'm going to keep it behind the 80. So I will be staying in the trade if the market will take those downside. That's why I like to trade more than one contract. So you can, you know, adjust your uh, trade management according to the trade volatility. And market did stop me, did not stop me out. So nice. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to trail the, 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 the one of the contract at 79.88 tight tight and I want to keep it white to just catch a bigger move quickly. So one of them is 78.88, 79.88, and stopped out and I had a, I have a hidden reversion hidden diversion. I don't care. I see how it in the version, but I don't care. Market will market will reverse. So I have a 80 stop at 80.09. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm still in the trade with this contract. Still in the trade. I'm almost up 300 bucks now. You guys are thinking, e mini with this strategy, you have to be careful. It is huge stop. 
right? You, it's uh, 40 text now. 44 text. Well, I'm going to on the box, make two contracts. It's going to be like almost 900 bucks max last per day. So it's going to be huge. So it's bigger. Very good. I like to, to use white stop with my strategy because, you know, when you give the market room and you know what you're doing and you enter the right time, most likely you're going to catch a move. If you target a stop, hoping for a big move and you're using like two point stop or what, some people use like take stop, that's garbage, especially with this volatility. So, yeah, trade my cool and get money rather than trade in many with tight stop and lose money. How about that? They're not ready. I think the market will push down. I don't see anything. I don't see any reason market to reverse, to be honest. Like, there's nothing. I see nothing. Market break all the support. So, could continue. We have 20 folks on the team going today. That's nice. How much points we get today? We got. 10 points. You got 10 points for crude oil. This is a huge number. 10 points and crude oil. That is a huge number. How about the wick on top? Does it mean going down? You mean this wick? A lot of wicks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This mean buyers are, are weaker. That mean buyers are weaker. A lot of wicks upside. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hundred percent right. Yep. That's why I keep this. Keep this. Uh, keep this uh, contract here. I keep it. I stop above the eighty. So if it's stopped out, it's stopped out. I see hidden diversion coming. There is hidden diversion now, but do not panic. Do not panic. Hidden diversion doesn't mean you close the trade. Hidden diversion means market may be like a chop for a bit. Right? And continue down the side again. So, because a lot of people see, oh, hidden diversion, close the trade. No. Do not close the trade. Do not close the trade. Just stay in the trade. But don't add. I see, I see now chance to add one more contract. I'm not going to do it. Because I see it in the version, so no. Fifteen minutes until R2I, I went to R2I button. So now it's not a good time to get in the pullback. No, no, I see hidden diversion. No, no. It doesn't, again, it doesn't mean hidden diversion, doesn't mean the market can pull it like, like the reverse. It doesn't mean that. Like, no, it might continue outside, but it is, it's not your favor. It's, the odds is not your favor. Why you take a trade and hidden diversion? Why you take a trade if you know. There is a chance to pull back uh, to reverse. Why do that? You don't need to.
we can't see the future, but we can predict what happened before and know what's going to happen in the next. Right? Like it's sixty percent. See the market gonna push down that. I see it. I can see. Twelve minutes. If you guys in a trade, you wanna add break even? You can. If you want? But for me, I'm just holding this last contract. You know, to see. It's a one contract, it's a big deal. I already make money. So. I see bullish diversion, yes. Another bullish diversion. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. But you know, let's keep it. Ten minutes until RTY. You guys still holding one contract or are you all out? One. How about Hassan? You nice man. You just follow the rules. You guys still email or Michael? Like I said, you can trade six micro. I trade six micros, two and two and two. Only yes, I trade even. I trade everything even. I don't trade micro except crude oil at the open. Sometimes I take crude oil trade during the day, I trade even. But you know, in the op at the open, I trade micro, six contracts. That's my strategy. But I trade e, R2I, everything else, even. I need to make money, man. Micro is not going to make me money. But in this good oil trade, it's extra 300 bucks a day. Why not? 300, 400 bucks a day. Why say not? I'm working now to develop another way to trade the crude oil. We might tie the stuff us a little bit. We can trade in many, but not that. I'm just testing that. Could be nice. So you can trade two contract uh, crude oil. Max loss would be almost uh, grand. Or, yeah, 900. Yeah. But just let you know the chance of getting max loss on the way I'm trained, it's very rare. It happened, but you know, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, it's very rare because I have a wide stop loss and I enter the market in the right time. So hitting my max loss is, you know. Very rare. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen. It happens. Trade is trading. You can have losing day, winning days. But...
Man, we still have, we have two minutes. We're going to read Artuai, buddy. This is taking so long. So let's look what's going on with Artuai. There we go. I'm gonna, you know what? So I'm going to keep it for the text. Play it. And let's see. Let's look at Artuai. Let's see the pivot now. I'm going to focus our main baby here. I trade three contracts in many of why. So let's look at the pivots. Already. So let's see what pivot we have in R2. I'm going to, oh, <laughs> crude oil to start moving again. All right. Let's keep it, man. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Crude oil has the 79.64, uh, acting huge support. You guys can see. Guys, add break even. Add it here, actually. Add it here at 87.77. And add your stop now to be at 78.66. Seventy nine point six six. Finally moved. Finally, we got thirteen points from this tricky group all year. Nice thirteen points. Try to stop a little bit. 80, uh, 70, 79.54. We have three minutes until we get to R2I, buddy. So I'm going to exit this trade. I'm just going to keep it like this for now. So I want to focus now on R2I, to be honest. This is the most important for me. Keep your stop there and let's see. All right, so. Here. RTI sitting off big time. We have a major, major support here in RTI at 1667, 1687. 
1687 1687 yeah 1687 be careful be, be careful of this number 1687 because if you can continue short this is going to be huge Please don't tell me you have your, your all. Okay. Holy mother. Okay. One, six, eight, seven. Yeah, we still have time for this one, eight, six, eight, seven. And we have a 30 minutes. We have almost one minute, 15 seconds, guys. So when I go ahead now, lose one of my trades, one of my screens. So We have 45 seconds. <clears throat> we have 45 seconds, 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. And our good oil stopped out. We have 15 seconds. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Market is open. Let's see. And short. We are shorting our toy now. Keep your stop now to be at 1706.4. I mean, be mindful, you can reverse from short to long. Be mindful, we can reverse from short to long. Just wait. Mark is very volatile. Just wait. Keep 90 ticket big plus one hit. I'm going to move, the, the, move this one to be at 1702.1. The second one going to be at 1703.6. 1703.6. Be mindful, you can reverse from short to long. And I hit this shit because, you know, can I add this one? Yeah, keep it. Keep it. Oh my God. I hate when I, one second, I'm at reverse from short to long. I'm at reverse from short to long. Let's see. Keep my stop at the same 1703.6. If I stopped out, I might reverse too long. I hate when I didn't hit my stop for ticks and fucking. One second, one second. Well, we are long. We are long now. Keep your stop now to be at 1699.2. One six six, 1699.2 or 0.3.4, whatever. And just wait. Holy shit, man. Ooh, market is so choppy.
market is so choppy there. Oh my God. And unfortunately, we stopped out. So we reverse and we stopped out. Hmm. So we are in a chop zone now. We are in that chop zone. Yeah. So our chop zone area gonna be from one second. From time we get the market, maybe at one seven zero five point two, one seven zero five point two, until we stop down, it's going to be at one six nine nine point one nine. This is our chop zone. So this is our chop zone. We need the market to bounce up or or down. And get the pullback. That's it. Let's see, man. Let's wait for the nine forty five. We have 945. Usually you have the choppiness. Usually 945 is a nice trade. Let's see. Stay in a chop zone. I hit this first trade, man. It's almost hit our profit up. Almost. Some people say, okay, so all your market move in your favor. It won't take some, don't, don't everything, everything break even. Because because 60, I, I, I tested that, I tested for a, a year or two years now back. 65% of the market will fall back and continue that, that my direction. So when I stop me out, we're going to my direction. So tiding is not a good deal. This sometimes happens, 19 ticks uh, bounce up, it's fine. That's why I add 19 secret, even first contact only. But this kind of move, choppy move, it doesn't happen a lot. It doesn't happen a lot. Maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, but most likely, First trade or second trade looks like the first trade be the best. Sometimes the second, but like yesterday, the first trade was uh, small loss. The second one was 25 points. This is usually the case, but choppiness in the open happens sometimes. And when it happens, we catch the move at 945, which you're going to have a 945 soon. So let's see. Just stay focused. Nine minutes until nine forty-five. 
waiting for the break. Waiting for pullback. Is a pullback. Not see, not yet. Not yet. We got a lower high here. One second. There's a the pullback. Let's see if we got a short signal. <clears throat> and today we have a 9.45 news, by the way, so it's going to be like good. Let's see. So I'm going to wait 9.45. We have only five minutes. Four minutes. We might get a short signal here. I have a, oh, I have a bullish diversion. I have a bullish diversion coming. So there's a chance for reversal. Still have three minutes until 945. 9.45, I like to go with the trend. So if I get along 945, I'll let it. I will not take it. If I get 945 long, I will not take it. And if I if I'm done today, I'm done. Okay. But let's see. We have three minutes. <clears throat> I 
two minutes almost. From guys, uh, the guys have been new the room since long time. You guys like crude oil or R2ID? Just want to check something. Two minutes until 9.45. Yeah. Crude oil? <laughs> Nobody. R2ID. No. Look at the look at the log and you know what? Don't just make assumption about one trade or two. Look at our logs. You know how many points you're looking at our every month. You know what I'm talking about. Trades are about day. Look at our logs since last year, and you know how many points we make it every single month. Almost 15 seconds until 9.45. Again, if I get a long signal, uh, 9.45 will be tough, but let's see. <clears throat> we have five seconds. And we are 9.45 now. Let's see. We might go short. Let's see. And we are shorting r now. We are shorting r now. What is that? Something happening. Something happening. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, this stop me out here. Do not stop out. I don't know what happened. You guys should be still a short, by the way. Your stop should be at 1696.8, but something happened with my ATM strategy. I don't know what's going on. But you should be still a short. You should be still a short now, by the way. Something happened here with me, with my ATM strategy. Something wrong happened. You guys still in the trade? Why, why are you out, man? This is this is my. I have a problem. I exit because I have a problem. I'm not out in a trade. You should be still in a trade. You should be stop at one one six nine six point eight. This is not my day. This is not my day. This is not my day. And I hit my max loss, by the way, for this freaking. ATM strategy didn't work out. 
I, I, I did sell stop limit and something freaking wrong happened. This is not my day. Once I sell it, kick me out. Let's see. R2I is so choppy. R2I is so choppy. It's very choppy. I hit my max loss. Should I keep trading or not? What do you think? But I hit my max loss with stupid stupid mistakes. I stupid against strategy. Should be staying a trade by the way now. I should be staying a trade until now. This is not, I don't know why you stopped out. You guys you guys exit the trade. You know, ATM strategy for me when I when I when I entered the market, something happened in my in my ninja trader. That's why I exit because it, it is, is not stopped. But you should be staying the trade. This trade is winning. This trade is winning. It's not losing. That's why I see this not my day. Yeah, it's a good trade. It's a very good trade. You know, but you know, I, I, I exit the trade because there is no stop limit for me. And I don't like to trade with a stop. When I trade, when I enter the market, there is no stop. Just no stop, no target. So I'm not going to trade like this. That's why I exit. But it's a very nice trade. Very nice trade. You guys still in it? If you guys didn't exit, it should be still a trade. This trade should be now almost five points profit. Yeah, because I will adjust my stop loss. It's stop, our stop loss, by the way, our stop loss in this trade should be at 1696.1. 1696.1 in this trade. And the market didn't hurt our stop. When I pull back, by the tick, then hit our stop. By the tick. So this should be winning trade. Oh, I'm so mad now at the major trade. So mad. I missed this beautiful nine, almost six, seven point trade. Let's see. We have 10 a.m. coming.
I'm gonna just try something. I'm gonna test this strategy again, see what's happening. Just test it, and don't, don't take the trade. I'm just testing the ADM strategy. Just one second. Okay. We have seven minutes until 9 a.m. That's your Italian. Artois moving short, but deeper pullback, kill everyone, uh, stop, uh, stop, 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 stop. Six minutes until 10 a.m. And by the way, crude oil is keep going down. By the way, keep going down. It's almost five percent now downside. It's keep going down. Five minutes until ten a.m. Four minutes.
Two minutes. I'm gonna sell now, sell the stop limit. I'm gonna add my sell now, my stop limit now to be at Should make it a little bit higher at one six eight seven point two. One six eight seven point two. I trade three contracts at one and one and touch them up together by, by mistake, but it's okay. We are at break even because this was the wrong trade. Can I break even because this was the wrong? I should, should be not attaching altogether. So I did. I stopped that because I, I the ATM strategy was wrong. Something wrong with ATM strategy for me now. Something wrong with ATM strategy. Hmm. Stenium already. Stenium. Let's see. <clears throat> Actually, I will take this to the same. I hit my max loss, so I don't want to mess with this one. That was my strap, was my uh, trading plan. But, you know. I would, this is the valid trade because I hit my max loss with it. So I was trying to get a trade. I would try to miss my trade plan and strong. You know what I mean? I don't care if I lose, but I care too much if I if I miss my, my trading plan. Oh. Ninja Taylor is hanging. All right. It is not my day. That's fine. Yeah. So I'm going to add to the stop limit <clears throat> in a second. I should be sitting now. I should be short now up to one. And your stop should be at 16687.8. Your stops will be at 167.8. Actually, we move only one contract to be at 1685.3. Only one contract, and the third, the rest will be at 1687.7. I'm trading sim because I hit my maximus. That's the only reason. Not because of the not, not good trade, because I hit my maximus. That's why. Actually, I exceeded my max loss by 200. That's fine. But my stop loss is going to be at 1685.5. The first one. The second one will be at 1687.7, 1687.8, around this end. <clears throat> yep, you got nine points? Yep. The short one, nice trade. Yeah. The short one, nice trade. want to exit. Yep. <clears throat> Add your profit target for this trade to be at 1680.1. 1680.1. So the 680 going to act as a support. <clears throat> so add it at 1680.1. And second contract only will be at 1684.9. The rest, 1687.7, 1687.5.
It only pissed me off today. I lost not because of the trades. No. I lost because of the ninja trade. <laughs> the trade was good. Everything was good. You know, if I take the third, the third trade, I should be still in it until now. If I take the short trade, you guys exited early. We should be still in this trade until now, by the way. Now, we get almost like 15, 20 points from this trade. Can you imagine that? Market did not hit my our target yet. Move all your contract now, all your contract to be at 1684.6.5. I don't understand. All your contracts. There's a chance to fall back, but I, I don't see any diversion, but this 1680. I was hoping to get a profit target at 1680, but then hit it. Yeah, Nigeria has a problem. Man. I'm gonna call the fucking them today because they, they make me lose almost a grand now because of this shit. I have no problem if I lost because of the losing trade. It's okay. It's okay. This again, yeah, yeah. You have to lose one win. But when I lost because it's the freaking ninja trader, it's not accepted. This is not accepted. This three is what it's losing to. Sure. I think so. Still not yet. Didn't hit our stop yet. Move your target a little bit higher, lower, uh, yeah, maybe at 160.4. And your second quarter now is a bit higher. Let's see. So, guys, I have a question. I hit my max loss. Should I keep trading on? Should I keep trading to recover from the loss? Or stop? It's Friday. It's Friday. I want to end the day. I want to end Friday green. Be happy. You know what I mean, to feel like when I enjoy Friday night, Saturday night, I'm not thinking about how I lost the Friday. Right? Don't leverage trade. Okay to keep trading, but. Put your losses out of your mind. I'm just asking you guys to see what they're thinking. The thing about losing, especially in Friday, some people think I used to do this, but I used to trade small Friday. I used to, do, but you know, I stopped doing that. Because you know, if you change your your uh, your sizing depends on days, you're gonna mess up with your uh, winning loss ratio or your average winning rate. Because you know, sometimes, I, by the way. The last, maybe if you look at the logs, the last, I think last two months now, maybe, yeah, last two months, Friday was very nice winning days. Today should be a nice winning day. It's not a losing day in terms of trading. So sometimes I used to do this. Sometimes I used, oh, I'm not gonna trade Friday because it's always oh, Friday. I take small, I, I take a tennis small, turns out to be a nice winning trade. And then I trade myself, let's say I got lost on Tuesday, and then, you know, so keep your size is set the same. It's not about Friday or Saturday or whatever shit. It's about, you know, it's a payday. You know, I make almost 1,500, 15 grand this week. 
So it's okay if I lose one, one side of the one day. It's fine. If I have a business, I pay the employee money. Right? This is the payday for me. It's fine. But still, I'm mad at the job. Still. Can we go long? No. Buddy, do you want to go long against against 43 freaking points? What's wrong, guy? Market is down almost 3%. You want to go long there? How come, buddy? Yeah, I see the moment I'm speaking up, we can make it go up maybe like three, four points, but you know, don't go against this whole momentum. Don't. And RTY stopped up. RTY stopped up. So I think we're going to reverse now a little bit, pull back a little bit, and then continue. Could be just pull back. Momentum still. There's no diversion, you see a bullish momentum, but you know, momentum is downside. But you know, if you, if you are a scalper looking for one, two points, three points, yeah, you can go long, but I don't like to go long against this ever. I don't like it. Again, it's up to you. Let's see what's going on in general. Yeah, I see. Yeah, RTY stopped up. Five minutes, we have five minutes, breakout 1682. You have five minutes, 1680. Just like 1680. Could be a nice breakout. But I don't like it because, <clears throat> one second, we look at the daily chart. Guys, anyone has a problem with Ninja Turtle today? I don't know what's going on. Be. Right. Just give me a second. I'm gonna stop not to do it.
Tuanza. Yes, and you guys can see the screen now. One is six zero eight. Let me see. One second. Still loading. One six eight zero. I have a five minute signal to break the one six eight five zero. One six eight zero. Sorry. I'm gonna check it with a thirty minute chart. See if this is a game which I've been tested before. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> this is gonna be a nice breakout, by the way. One six eight zero. It's going to be a nice breakup. You got a five minute signal breakout 16880. 1680 breakout, five minutes. So if you if you want to trade the 16805 breakout, and if I, I'm looking at the five minute chart now. One second. Just a five minute shot. So we have here beer flag. See this Gucci, nice beer flag, 1680. See if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna take the breakout, you can re-enter the market 1680 by maybe four ticks below this line here and move you to stop above this doji. It's gonna be 80 ticks stop, 85 ticks stop, All right? If you did one contract, it will be almost 400 bucks in many. If the market breaks it, and what you can do now is one, two, one of two things. You can trail your stop behind each bar high, Oh my God, let's get this hang on me. Stop freaking this shit, man. Ooh. I see now breaking now. Breaking, breaking 16801. Breaking. If you want to guys go short, I can go short now, but let's see. I'm looking, I'm going to get rid sim. It's breaking now. It's breaking the 1680. Oh, so the skin is very handy. That's fine. And I know what's going on here. I have an indicator I had yesterday for the versions. This indicator is killing my PC, killing it. So I'm going to get rid of it. I know what's going on here. 
yeah, this one here is killing my resources big time. Something wrong, man. Break down. Yeah, break down. Yeah, yeah. Break and down. You guys take this straight down. If you can't take it, it's, it's okay. It's one big and one six eight zero. It's a nice break. It's a nice break down. It's a nice break. <clears throat> I see it in a five minute chart. If you want any chart, it's all confirming. Finish, finish that. <clears throat> and been tested three times. And this one six eight zero, it been tested three times and bounce. So the chance to break it is huge, right? So all you can do now is you can fill the stop limit and add your stop below the last pivot, maybe last pivot here at 1684.0 as one minute chart. Or you can add it as five minute chart, it's gonna be more conservative or more accurate at 88 at 1687.0. <clears throat> Gonna be huge stop, it's five minutes, <clears throat> but it's gonna keep you in a trade. Get the market gonna chop anyway around this. Area. So if you're gonna keep it at one six eight above one six eight seven uh, one six eight seven point zero, just keep you out of chop, gonna be fine. And for this target 24 ticks as usual. This is the five minute setup. This is not a one minute. Setup. This stop loss is, is for the five minute setup. It's not for the one minute. Right? And I see a lot of volume in the 30 minute chart, a lot of volume short. Let's see what happening is here. Almost 2% downside and we have this downtrend, micro trend here happening here now. You can, see, you can assume this one here. Oh, this one is breaking, but you can, you can add, add this one here is the more steady. <clears throat> so for ES, if you break down the trend line, we're gonna go short if we have a, a, a bear flag. We do have a bear flag, so we're gonna add the stop limit now, ES below this bar here, 3704.50. For this target line here, this can break even, move this break even, man. I don't need break even now. Move, move it, move it. It's gonna hit your stop, most likely. All right? So keep your stop back there. Keep it back there. And if you have five minute shots, just move your, move your stop below the, every five minutes bar. This is a five minutes uh, ATM, it's not a one minute. Still waiting, yes, sure. <clears throat> Good oil, we have this consolidation area here. <clears throat> breaking the 
top performer now, 78.41. And let's see if you're gonna bearish. You're gonna have a bear flag and you can break the 78.41. Let's look at the ES. Still waiting for the ES. And I will stop above this bar here if you, if you get entry in the yes. Crude oil still waiting. What if uh, first target hit uh, RTY? First target hit. Keep your stop for it takes from the from the entry. And we got a signal here, good oil short, breaking the 78.41. Right. So we got a sell stop limit crude oil. But be careful for crude oil is already 6% down. So it is the tail of the move. So I don't like it now, to be honest. Market has already moved six points, six six point yes, six percent. So it's a huge time to huge huge sell off. So can see good oil now. We think yes now. Anyone take the short good uh, up to oil? Are you guys still there? Anyone take the short? I stopped trading because I hit my max loss. Doesn't mean I'm, guys, no trade. Done for today? Okay. You can keep your stop and stay in a trade. You can keep your stop at 1800.3 and stop that. And stop that. That's it for today. It was very choppy day, to be honest. Very choppy Friday. Actually, it's not very choppy. We got a nice trade, but you know what happened with Ninja and stuff like that. And we be losing trade. But if you guys stay in the first trade I called, second trade I called, a short one should be in, with nice profit. No trade today at 3.30. I'm done trading for today. And see you all on Monday at 9, uh, sorry, at 8.50, uh, 8.45. All right, see you all.